Today, I'm looking at photo zoom to enlarge my paintings. So let's get into it. I mentioned a couple of videos ago uh, that I use a program called photo zoom to enlarge uh, paintings for print. And one or two people have asked me if I would do a video on the app photo zoom so i thought okay why not it is something i use and it is relevant to what we're doing so here it is so i'm on the photo zoom website and you can see it says photo zoom pro 8 i actually use the photo zoom classic so i'm just going to go over to the store and look at the different versions so the photo zoom 8 um is 139 pounds at the time of the this video being released i use the classic one which is for home photography and that comes in at 59 pounds so it's just over one third of the price so uh, a big difference in pricing so that's why i use that there is a new version out classic 8 i'm using classic 7 I don't feel any need to upgrade that it works fine for what I want. So uh, this is the website. It's benvista.com and you can go there and download it and try it out. You can get the pro version or the classic version. So I'm going to jump straight into um, Photo Zoom Classic. And this is the interface uh, as you open it up. It's all very, very straightforward. I've got something called Unsharp Masking selected. When you um, open the program, that is uh, not selected. It's um, deselected. De and I set my um, settings to S Spline. And I'm going to use photo detail. Ah, photo detailed. Ah, so if I choose photo detailed, it is, it has selected the unsharp masking. Okay, I guess if it's generic, it's not selected. Okay, but I'm going to go for um, photo detail. So basically, when I let, when I open this program up, I'm not going to do any cropping. I'm not going to change any of these settings because the whole point of this program is it makes it easy to uh, enlarge um, a painting. So I'm going, just gonna drag a painting into this program and show you how easy it is to get it to the size you want without changing other, any of the settings. As I say, I've chosen S-Spline XL just because that's at the top and it works for me. And I've gone for photo detailed I don't know if that's right or not, but it, again, it works. So how do I get an image in here? I can click the open tab and navigate to it, or I can open Explorer and I've got a photo here that I want to use and I can just drag that into that little window there. And there we go. So this, these uh, images in this folder, folder are images that I've reduced in size so I can put them on social media like uh, Instagram and such. So they've usually got a shortest width uh, or length of 1,000 pixels. So I thought if I choose something that's small to start with, we'll, we'll get a good idea of how it enlarges. So I'm taking this picture of this swan and it's telling me this is only four inches high and I want to make this 36 inches high. So I just type in 36 and I can sort of navigate to an area by clicking this little box on the this small photo and zoom in. When you're moving around, it looks very pixelated because obviously we're working with a really large image. And then when you take uh, the cursor off, it sharpens up. So you can see we've got a nice sharp image of this swan it's 36 inches and it's 300 dpi so i can just save that so i always go to save as and i like to put in a size uh, or a name i should say that would give me the size or, or give me an indication of the size so i'm going to put in 36 inch i use this a lot for when i'm putting stuff on red bubble and i want to um, 
some of the paintings especially if i'm working in art rage i work on a much smaller scale in art rage than i do in procreate so say i want to print on a cushion uh, if i load the standard image up that i've painted it fits fine on the cushion uh, then they've got scatter cushions which are much bigger and uh, it's the image is too small for that or if i want to print on they've now got uh well you can have a duvet cover they've got um curtain screens for showers uh and all sorts of things so if i want to go that big then i use this program to create an enlarged image so anyway i'm going to save that in the same folder and it does take a while i tried to do i i had to go doing one at 72 inches and it was taking ages to save, but I, I get that because obviously, you know, you go up to 72 inches by however inches wide it is by 300 DPI. That's a big file. So it does take a while, but there, that's not too bad. So I click on done. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to open, if, if we look at this, I've got two images. I've got my original one and my swan by 36 inches. So this is the enlarged one. What I'm going to do is open them both up in Affinity Photo. And then uh, once we've got them both opened, there we are. This is the uh, 36 inch one. This is the um, original one. And at the minute they look okay. They look pretty similar. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna resize. Uh, I'm going to change change this to inches and I'm going to change the height to 36. This is the original one and I'm making the exact same changes to this as I did um, on the one I did in photo zoom and I'm going to resize that. So now they're both 36 inches and still at this size, you know, I'm sort of switching between the two. There's not a lot of difference. Let's zoom in. So I'm going to go view uh zoom and i'm going to zoom to actual size so this would be the printout size now that doesn't look too bad this is the original one that i've just resized in affinity photo if i go to photo zoom if you zoom that and choose actual size can you see how much detail this is retained in the strokes on the head there? I don't know if this is going to show up on YouTube. Um, I hope it does, but we've got way more defined strokes on the head. You can see them just flick to the original. They are um, much softer there. I'll go back and you can see the sharp rear. We've got this bit of um, feathers just to the right of the beak. And this clump of paint there it's way softer it's way it is there you can see it but it's softer than on this um photo zoom so there we go i mean there are lots of lots more um settings you can use in photo zoom to tweak it but i just wanted you to see uh, how easy it is to get um a print and this is from a 1000 pixel um height image original image and i have done that i've taken photos off um facebook that are sort of 700 pixels high and turned them into 10 by 8 prints with this and printed them out and they've come back and they look absolutely fantastic so there we go that is uh photo zoom that's how i uh, the, the program i use to enlarge my photos to make much bigger prints uh, to put on red bubble or take smaller images or maybe even crop an image and use um, just a small portion of an image i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing because i've got lots of videos like this and i would love to be sharing them with you so hopefully i'll see you all in the next one bye